Hello everybody. Today we are going to see pricing procedure in SAP SD S4 HANA. So there are various steps involved in pricing procedure. Let us see the steps. First step is condition table. We have to create a condition table. Second step is access sequence. Third step is condition type. Fourth step is pricing procedure. Fifth step is document pricing procedure. Sixth step, customer pricing procedure. Seventh step, condition report creation. One by one, I'm going to show that in the live system. Okay, let's go to the live system. This is my live system. Let's go to VOK0, workbench. This is so-called workbench. First step, I'm going to create condition table. Go to environment, condition table, create. So it should be above 500. Below 500 is SAP tables, all SAP tables. Now I'm going to create condition table above, six, above 500. Okay. Now go to 955. I'm going to enter 955. Already exists 954. Already exists 953. Forty-six nine forty-six. Here I'm going to enter page up and page down will work here. So the first one is I'm going to select sales organization. Page down. Sales organization. Where is the sales organization here? Here. Double A. Next distribution channel. Page up and page down. Page up. Distribution channel. Go to distribution channel. See it? Distribution channel. Third one is customer. Page down. Customer. Customer. Page down. Now, last one is material. You would enter material. See here, material. So, for this sales organization, for this distribution channel, for this customer, and for this material, I'm going to give pricing. Okay. Generate. Press enter. Yes. Local objects. I'm going to save it in local objects. I have created 946. Come back 946. I'm going the next one is access sequence. Go to condition type access sequence. Continue. New entry here. New entry. So 946 is my con condition table. A946. Okay. Condition table access sequence 946. Okay, it's present. This is just a description. Presenter. Okay, this is my access sequence. A946. Select this. Double click on to accesses. New entry. Number one. 946 condition table. My condition table, which I have created it earlier, is 946. Presenter. Enter again. Enter. Select onto this. Double click onto this fields. Press enter. Only then it will get generated. Okay, see, sales organization, distribution channel, sold to party and material. Now save it. Continue. A946 is my access sequence. Third one is condition table. Condition type, sorry, condition type. Go to condition type, condition type, definition. So from PR00, let me copy it. PR00. Is the base price from here? I'm going to copy it. Copy S. See here, copy S. So access sequence. My access sequence is A nine four six. Okay, it's correlated. One, uh, it will be uh, condition table will be inside access sequence. Access sequence will be inside condition type. Okay, now condition type. I'm going to change. Z nine four six. 
इसमें कंडीशन दे रखा है लर्न टू बिट लर्न टू बिट दिस जस्ट अ डिस्क्रिप्शन प्रेस एंटर एंड सेव Z nine forty six is my condition type. Okay, Z nine forty six. Now come back. Next one is pricing procedure. Here nine pricing procedure. You go to zero workbench. This is my workbench pricing procedure. Pricing procedure. New entry. Here I am going to enter new entry. Z nine four six Z Z. Okay. Z nine four six Z nine four six. Pricing procedure. Press enter. Z nine four six Z Z. It's my pricing procedure. Select not to. This line item double click this control new entry step one my condition type is Z nine four six is my condition type printer this is this column is print X the requirement I'm going to select two let's see what is two item with price okay should be any item with price access sequences E R L E R L, E R C L, E R C L seven. Press enter and save. Continue. So I have created pricing procedure for the day base price alone. Come back for the base price Z nine forty six base price. Back, back, and document pricing procedure. Next is document pricing procedure. Select here. Pricing procedure, document pricing procedure, maintain. Document pricing procedure. Let's have standard itself. I'm going to use standard itself. A standard. Okay. Let's use standard. There is nothing in uh, creating a new uh, document pricing procedure or customer pricing procedure. Okay. Same customer pricing procedure also. I'm going to use the same one. Let's go to Debo K zero. Pricing procedure, customer pricing procedure. That also I'm going to use standard only one. Now pricing procedure determination. Pricing procedure, pricing procedure determination. So my sales area is LD zero one. Okay, LD zero one, LD LD. The distribution channel is LD. Pricing document pricing procedure A, customer pricing procedure standard one. Now my pricing procedure is Z. Nine four six, set set. Okay. My condition type is set nine four six. Now set. Cut it. Okay. Now come back. Back. Let's go to B K eleven. I'm going to give base price. Set nine four six is my condition type. The one I have created is the condition type. Z nine four six. Press enter. Z nine four six. Okay. See, this is my customer. One double zero six four one is my customer. My material is five zero four seven. Amount is five thousand five hundred and fifty five. Press enter and save. So this this material is West Star Watch. And customer is one double zero six four one. It's my customer. Same. Now everything, if it is working, if I created everything correctly, it should appear in the sales order. Let's go to sales order and let let us check. B A zero one. It's my sales order transaction code. Okay, O R standard order O R. Sales order division distribution channel division L D zero one L D L D. My division. Okay, let me enter the uh, sold to party one double zero six four one. Press enter. Okay. 
okay my material is 5047 quantity 1 here my net value is 5550 let's double click onto this line item let's check in the conditions here z946 is the condition type and the amount is the one i have created uh, created in the condition records pk11 okay 5555 that's it about pricing procedure base price condition thank you